Prior to starting, the patient should be introduced to everyone who will be present during the exam. A chaperone should be offered to all patients, and this is a requirement for all male providers. Supervision from staff or residents is required for all medical students. An important principle of the pelvic exam is to minimise exposure of sensitive areas. This begins by giving clear instructions and providing the patient with privacy during the encounter, including leaving the room while the patient changes. Interruptions should be minimised once the encounter has begun. The patient should be encouraged to empty their bladder before the examination. The patient should remove all clothing from the waist down, including undergarments. Either a gown open at the back and or a sheet to place over the patient's lap will be provided for the exam. The patient should remain draped until everything is ready. Ensure all necessary equipment is ready prior to starting. Hand hygiene should always be performed before entering the room, before and after using gloves for physical exams and procedures, and after each patient encounter. Having the bed flat will facilitate visualisation of the gynaecologic organs. If the patient is unable to lie flat, consider raising the head of the bed slightly or providing a pillow. Ideally, the bed should have foot supports. If foot supports are available, ask the patient to move down the bed until their buttocks are at the edge. Assist the patient in placing their feet onto the supports. This is called the dorsal lithotomy position. Take care to maintain draping during repositioning. If there are no foot supports available, ask the patient to bring their feet together and close to the buttocks with the legs relaxed to the sides. This is called modified lithotomy, butterfly or frog leg position. If the cervix is difficult to visualise in the modified lithotomy position, ask the patient to place both fists or an inverted bedpan beneath their sacrum. Another technique involves asking the patient to bring their knees to their chest.